Hi guys, I'm here at the Tucson Museum of Art with Jenner, who's a little squirrely, but we'll get through this okay. And we're talking about Patrick Martinez's work. This is his artwork right behind me, A Paradise Lost. So I wanted to tell you guys a few things about him and this work. He is a LA-based artist. Uh, he's lived in LA all his life. And he's very much so interested and motivated by the terrain and landscape. And I mean terrain and landscape of the city, not just of non-urban areas, but of um, places that would be highly populated and rich in culture. He uses things like neon signs in his work, which you can see behind me, mm -hmm. uh, to kind of connect to the idea of mom and pop shops in you know, maybe a lower socioeconomic uh, standing neighborhood and gives them, you know, new and relevant messages that are dealing with the reality of the human condition in those areas, not what um, maybe a passerby might perceive to be the actual condition. He's making landscapes, so the artwork that's behind me you could, would consider a landscape. And uh, he mentions that he is taking from the landscape to make a landscape with things like and security bars and neon, <laughs> neon signs. I, I hope you guys are getting a kick out of this. Um, <laughs> he also, he also <laughs> includes things like archival photos and basically guys his works are dealing with time and place and uh, changing landscape or gentrification. So the term gentrification, for those of you that don't know, because I know you don't know, uh, refers to renovating or improving the housing district to conform to middle-class taste. So basically taking away these rich roots of culture that everybody might resonate or that might resonate with other people in the community and putting a new face on it, which isn't always wildly accepted. Uh, let's see. He includes photos in his work, so uh, you'll notice archival photos of his family um, through different generations that he inserts to kind of speak to lineage and time so his origin his roots where he's from um, and generally speaking his pieces are very layered so a single landscape artwork like the one behind me would be speaking to like maybe four or five different locations that are important to him at a time and that is incredibly specific to how he is layering the materials that he's using as well um, he, as a kid, had a quote from his video that I really liked. Let's see if I can snap it back on there. I think we're safe. Okay. Um, as a kid, his quote from his video was, you knew you were going to jail at some point. And he really connected to this idea of kind of police violence and police brutality and mishandling of the police force with you know maybe underserved communities and that experience that first-hand experience as a kid has catapulted his kind of art path now and the work that he's making um, and that's what we're going to connect to with where we're going with this project so we're going to look at his peachy folder series and a peachy folder if you don't know uh, were inexpensive folders made for school, just school folders. So think like paper folder, two pockets. Um, the insides would include things like conversion tables for multiplications and metric system. The outside would include illustrations that would typically depict, you know, your kind of stereotypical happy school going kid doing athletics or whatever other fun. PG activity. Peachy, the name Peachy, comes from the original peach color that those folders were made in back in 1943. The artworks that Martinez has used for Peachy folders in this series are quite different than the artworks that you would commonly find on a Peachy folder. Uh, he has, you know, on this print you see George Floyd, Brianna Taylor, and uh, Ahmed Aubrey and you see police officers that are engaging in use of excessive and brutal force. 
he made these artworks into peachy folders to kind of bridge the gap between what is going on in the content of his work and where youth is today. He uses these uh, folders, he passes them out to, to youth and people at rallies such as Black Lives Matter and other um, kind of socially unifying protests that we see going on in the world today to give them a connection point. And instead of putting things like multiple or conversion tables in them. He's including things like the rules of survival if you're stopped by police, or the mayor's budget versus the people's budget, or uh, facts on police or police in schools and how that affects you guys as youth. So I think our takeaway when we're talking about him and his peachy folders are the fact that he's juxtaposing or he's contrasting with these two ideas of like the classic, I'll quote myself, Americana, like campy, happy, usually uh, depicted more middle class or affluent white people and uh, putting clashed with that, this idea of police violence and people that are being oppressed. So what does that mean for you guys? That means this project needs to emphasize this idea of process over product so that the act of making art connects you to whatever your internal motive is, whatever inspires you to want to share your voice as a young activist, as an artist. You need to focus on materials that carry weight and meaning. So, you know, if we look at the way Martinez is layering his paintings, we see that he's painting things on and power washing them off and painting more things on. And he's using paint, sure, but the way that he's applying them and how he's using them makes them incredibly meaningful to the work's overall message. And that means you guys have to choose a topic that is like impressively important to you something that hits you to your core so that you can channel all of these ideas hopefully my kid's not going to electrocute himself here we go all these ideas of your process and your materials into that work so that's my two cents thank you that's delicious and jenner's two cents on patrick martinez and i hope this helps you a little bit and allows you to see you know these peachy folders up close and in person so we can get a good launch point Awesome. Thanks, guys.